Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I wanted to put this video out real quick uh, before we get to our UCM video for the week. This is the Edge Switch 1.7.4 firmware video. So what I'd like to do is go over this real quick so you can see they made all the changes that we talked about last time. Everything is looking really, really nice and they've made the edge switches much easier for beginners to you know get get into configure use and things like that now of course more advanced options like you'll see in some of our videos here you're gonna have to go back to the old you know the old GUI to take care of that but for a lot of things that you want to do VLANs and things like that everything is right here so I'll leave a link to this download in the description and you just grab the model that is or the uh, version of the firmware that is for your model and I've already downloaded it here so you remember the last time we did a video on this this was in beta and I pointed out some of the things that were broken well those things are now fixed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our edge switch and we are gonna go to the not the VLANs but the settings and we're gonna scroll down and we're going to hit the upgrade firmware button. It's going to prompt us where the firmware is at. Then we're going to select that and we're going to go ahead and upgrade. Okay, here is our file that we downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and double click this guy. And it is going to circle around and it's going to upgrade. This is going to take a, a few minutes and then it's going to prompt us to reboot the switch. So in the short run, what I'm going to do is I am going to pause this video and I'll be right back. Okay, so that took several minutes, and now it says device's firmware has been successfully upgraded. Please reboot the device to apply changes. So they have really streamlined even the firmware upgrade process. And then we're going to uh, take a look at some of these other settings in here. So we're going to go ahead and reboot the device. Are we sure we want to reboot? Yes. So the device is going to reboot. We're going to let it reboot. And then we're going to come back to this. And we're going to take a look at a couple things and just give you a couple of the differences. But I really encourage you if you're not, well, even if you are using the advanced features, there's things under the hood that you should probably upgrade for <clears throat> some of the uh, enhancements that they've done where uh, HTTPS um, and SSH are the default communication protocols that the administrator uses to get in. And they've disabled Telnet and standard HTTP. That right there, that is reason enough to upgrade across the board. So we're going to let this guy reboot and we'll be right back. All right, our switch is now rebooted, so we're going to go ahead and log in. All right, so we can see that uh, the port utilization, the throughput, everything is working as expected now, whereas uh, before we had some issues. We can come over here to the system settings. and now the device name should work so that that all works so those things that I pointed out in the beta they have addressed every single one of those and I've heard a lot of people saying well they're trying to bring this closer to unify no they are not bringing this closer to unify whether you like it or not the edge max series and the unify series have two different use cases and as far as I know, they're not gonna they're not gonna merge those lines. And EdgeMax is far more flexible in the configuration that you can do with it. So what else do we have on here? You can see that we've got our device discovery and our Mac table. It's uh, got uh, IP version six here. Now uh, the SNTP client. I actually want to change these. I like using U I uh, NTP dot uiuc dot edu that's the university of illinois uh, urbana urbana champaign champaign urbana whatever you want to say and um, the reason i like to use that particular time server is because it's it's close to me but uh, uiuc has the national like when you talk about collegiate computing programs, even national computing programs, UIUC is is where it's at. So if they're getting the time wrong, we're in trouble. So I'm just going to leave the one there. We could do our spanning tree over here. But overall, just, I mean, 
um, look at what they've done. They have really made this less intimidating for new users. And I don't know if it's coming to the edge router. It would be nice if it came to the edge router, but the edge router is pretty simple as it is. All the VLAN setup. I mean, this thing is, it's, it's very, it is pretty. So get out there, check it out. There's all kinds of other little things under the hood. Um, but I will put a link to download this. So go out and upgrade your switch and enjoy the new UI that Ubiquity is providing. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need consulting for network security voice over IP, you can go to h5llc.com down there. Fill out the contact form and someone will get back with you. We also have a Discord server. The link's down there. Charlie's our admin and does a a wonderful job. If you want to buy any of the gear that uh, you've seen on the channel, we do have an Amazon shop down there as well. And as always, I want to thank you and we'll see you in the next video.